Hello traders, welcome back to Simply Forex. Today is Monday the 25th of September. I hope you had a marvellous, excellent, brilliant weekend. Um, in today's vid, guys, we're going to look back at Friday's trades, we're going to look at today's potential trades, and we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Let's do this. So we're going to start with the trade that I took on Friday, guys. And it was Swiss franc against the Japanese yen. And we were looking to short this pair. So why were we looking to short it? Well, price was in an uptrend, but then it started to range. And then we started to see lower highs. Okay. So this is a chart pattern known as a descending triangle. And hence the name, you know, descending price is going to not all the time but price is you know meant to descend yeah we get a break of these lows it can break this way sometimes guys all right but descending triangle you know we got this nice big bearish candle that broke out of the triangle broke all of these lows yeah so we were just looking to take price back down to here and just basically the next area of support guys um, so, yeah, we were looking to short it, guys. If we drop down to the, let's drop down to the H4 first of all, guys. So we've got this gray zone in here. Yeah, and you can see this is the last daily low. And we get a reaction at the last daily low. Okay. So I started getting into this trade quite aggressively here. If we drop down to the H1 now, um, yeah, I started entering on this candle here. Yeah. Not super bearish, but I'm going to build this trade, all right? So I actually entered in here, and my stop's up here, guys, all right? So it's a very large stop, but I'm going to build and in, scale into this trade with a view to taking price, you know, back down to that blue blue line, that higher time frame target. Um, and, guys, I'm going to show you... Uh, yeah, I'm going to put this in a video and the VIP Discord channel, guys. I'm going to put how I build this trade in the VIP Discord. So if you'd like to receive this, guys, come join the VIP Discord. I'm going to put that in there. But that's my trade. Yeah, I entered here, my stops here. Yeah, and I'm looking to take price lower. I will take some profit here, guys. Yeah, and then let some profit run. Um, but yeah, there was a few you know, candles that told us sellers are in control, you know, the, I entered on this one, but there were more bearish candles. I mean, this was quite bearish. You know, this one was quite bearish. But you can see there's formed a low here, guys. What I'd really like to see is a candle that breaks this, you know, these H1 lows. And then, and then you can see on H1, we're starting to see lower highs. And then we're seeing lower lows if this happens. Yeah, and that's a breakdown in structure, you know, and that will give us the confidence for price to carry on. Um, so Swiss franc yen, yeah, I shorted this trade. I'm going to build this trade. Um, and um, yeah, still in it, guys. So that was Swiss franc Japanese yen. The next trade we were looking at from Friday was this. It was the pound against the Japanese yen. And if we go to the day chart and start there, it was a similar scenario, not as clear cut in terms of a descending triangle. Yeah, but, you know, nonetheless, price had broken down. So you can see here, guys, yeah, pound yen, you know, continued to break down, but it never really broke this, this grey zone. And that's what I was waiting for, guys, a break of this grey zone. And then I can start selling pound yen, all right? There were clues, guys. You know, when you start to get lower highs, yeah, there's obviously a clue that, you know, structurally prices coming down, sellers are in control. But I'm just waiting for the break of the lows to confirm that it is in a downtrend. And that's what we get um, with this candle here. And like Swiss franc Japanese yen, guys, just looking for a retrace to take price lower. If we drop down to the H4 now, this was quite, yeah, I mean, I didn't trade this because I was always in already in Swiss franc Japanese yen. Um, and yeah, I don't want to be in two yen pairs. I'm basically doubling my risk if I do. 
And and this, you know, I had an alarm in here, literally at this grey zone. And look how close it got before it comes shooting down. All right. So, you know, it didn't quite hit my alarm. Having said that, if we drop down to the H1 chart now, um, you know, again, that the structure isn't great on the H1. Yeah. We're still you know, in an uptrend, although seeing lower highs. So again, with this H1 structure, if we start to see a break of these lows, similar to yen, then I, you know, this pound yen trade is, is coming down. Yeah, structurally, it's breaking down. That's the biggest clue that price wants to continue to the downside. Um, but yeah, again, there was a couple of candles. This candle would have been good. Yeah, but it just didn't quite reach our grey zone, guys. And then this grey zone held and didn't break. So, you know, pound yen wasn't easy to trade on Friday. Um, but maybe you got into it, guys. And if you did, let us know. We would love to hear from you and your trade ideas, how you traded it. And you can leave all this information in the free Discord channel. So that was pound yen. Uh, and then finally, guys, was Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. OK, um, and this one, again, didn't quite retrace enough for me. So if we start with the day chart, guys, you can clearly see, you know, we got into this range. Yeah. And then soon as price broke these lows in here and even this low here with this big bearish candle, the idea was just to take it back down to this gray zone. All right, I had quite a conservative target because I like a psychological level. And this 10800, you know, was a good level for me. All right. Um, so, yeah, it came down as expected. But if we go to the H1 now, you know, I was looking for a retrace back to these H1 highs. I wanted price just to come back into here, test this level. Yeah, and then we get a bearish reaction and then we come lower. But as it happens, guys, you know, it happened here. Yeah, um, and then it come lower. Okay, and, it, you know, in hindsight, guys, if we zoom in, you know, this candle was bearish enough. Yeah, it tells us sellers are in control and we could have perhaps started shorting it from here. Um, but like I say, guys, I was looking for price to come to here. Um, but yeah, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, the direction was good. So those were the trades from Friday. Let's take a look at today's trades now. Traders, if you enjoyed Friday's analysis, maybe took some of the trade ideas, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel right now, guys. We'd love to have you. Smash that notification button so you receive an alert every time we post a vid. And if everyone could please smash the like button. Muchas gracias. Um, guys, so trade for Monday the 25th of September. Before we get started, let me just mention a few things. So... If you haven't joined our free Discord channel yet, why not? It's free. Come join it. We've got traders on there sharing knowledge, ideas. We've got indicators, psychology, useful books, loads of cool things, guys. So come and check out the free Discord channel. The link is in the video description. Um, next, guys, if you would like to get my trade ideas, then you can join the VIP Discord channel, guys. So Within the VIP Discord, you get access to me throughout the trading day, as in you can ask me questions and I will, you know, answer them and help you with your trading. Um, I also give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. We have two other expert traders sharing their ideas. I also give you exclusive content every single week, guys, and you get access to a performance coach. So loads of value in the VIP Discord. You do have to pay for the VIP Discord, but check it out. The link is in the video description. Next, guys, if you would like to learn how to trade, learn how to technically analyze the markets, then I run a mentorship program. If you're interested in that, then please drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. The email is in the video description. Uh, and next, guys, if you would like to show your support for the channel, maybe you watch the live streams, the analysis uh, every day, the analysis vids, 
then you can show your support by becoming a Simply Forex YouTube member. Starts from as little as uh, under $2 a month, guys, and there's some really cool perks for doing so. And finally, guys, don't forget our live stream every day, Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m., New York EST time. Get your questions ready, um, and we will analyze. Okay, so that's how you think the channel does, guys. Let's focus on today's trades. So these are not trade ideas that I'm going to start with because, <coughs> excuse me, guys, a little bit of a Barry White style voice this morning. Um, so, yeah, these will be against trend trades. And, you know, but I just wanted to show you what I'm looking at. I really like the level of a lot of the euro pairs right now. Yeah, so this would suggest we might see a bit of a euro strength over the next week or coming weeks. So euro US dollar, guys, as you can see, is at this weekly level. And it's holding on to it. Yeah, we got a doji type candle last week. And if we drop down to the day chart, you can see, you know, this level is holding. Yeah, we're in a downtrend, but we're not getting lower lows. All right, so this is holding. So it's a really interesting weekly level for me. I cannot buy it because, as you can see, we're in a daily downtrend. But if we start breaking this level here, you know, then euro, US dollar could be potentially a very good buy. But I will need to wait for that daily break. Um, if you were super aggressive, you could start buying it now. But, yeah, I'm not. I need to be with daily trend. And this is, you know, this is also shown in a few other pairs. So if we look at, what else was I looking at? Yeah, Euro Aussie dollar, guys. This weekly level. Yeah, look at that. It's really nice level. Yeah, if we come up here, we're clearly in an uptrend. We're back at a level of support and the moving average 20. You know, price is not breaking these lows. And we're starting to see sl uh, sellers slow down. Yeah, and we're seeing some wicks here. Again, if we look at the day chart, yeah, you can see, again, we're in a downtrend, but we're not breaking these lows. Yeah, these lows are holding. Again, if we get a break of this, this level here and therefore a break of day trend, I'm interested in this Euro Aussie dollar buy trade. And it's the same with Euro Canadian dollar as well. Again, these weekly levels we're at. Yeah, you can clearly see we've got a nice, important weekly level through here on Euro Canadian dollar. We've had a little bit of a bounce up, yeah, in terms of this wick here. And if we go to the day chart, you can see, you know, things are very oversold. But again, this is a downtrend. All right, but, uh, but again, these these lows are holding. So I just wanted to show you that, guys. If you did take these euro buy trades, it would be against daily trend. That's very important to mention, but I just wanted to show you things that I'm looking at in the market, yeah? I really like these euro levels. If they break down, then obviously I don't like these levels. But as they stand now, yeah, these lows are holding. Um, so, yeah, wanted to show you that, guys. But now on to our trade ideas. So the first trade idea for today and slightly deja vu is Swiss franc Japanese yen. Yeah, not much has changed, guys. Yeah. Like I said, we were in this descending triangle. As you can see here with these blue lines. Yeah, descending triangle. Um, we broke out of this triangle. Yeah, therefore breaking all of these lows. We've got a nice big bearish candle followed by a candle with a nice wick. You know, that is still telling me sellers are in control. And the idea is still to take price back down to here. Um, if we drop down to the H1 now, yeah, as you know, guys, from my recap, I'm in this trade. So I'm going to slightly adjust this gray zone. So what do I want to see, guys? So there's a few things we can look for here. Firstly, price comes back up into this gray zone, maybe at these last highs here, yeah, and maybe even pushes up a little bit higher, but we get a bearish reaction here. Yeah, we're looking for a bearish reaction. We can then start selling Swiss franc Japanese yen. OK, 
Okay. Again, I will take some profit here, let some profit run. Or guys, we can start following the H1 structure. And if we get a break of these lows, yeah, you can see we're starting to see lower highs. And if we get a break of these lows, with perhaps a candle like this, this is also confirmation that price is breaking down and we can start selling from here as well. All right, so Swiss franc, Japanese yen, we're looking to short that and there's a couple of ways we can do it. The next trade, yeah, and my uh, other trade idea is this, pound yen. Um, before I show you pound yen, guys, let me just uh, ask everyone, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel right now, guys. We would love to have you. Um, and also, everyone, please smash the like button. Yeah, it really support helps support the vid. Thank you very much. And don't forget all the cool things we do, guys. Free Discord channel, VIP Discord channel, mentorship program, Simply Forex YouTube membership. And we got the live streams every day, Monday to Thursday. All right, so check all of those things out. They're all in the video description. Um, let's start with the uh, day chart with pound yen. So again, not much has changed from um, Friday. Yeah, we can you know see that price has broken down, and it wasn't until this big red candle that I was interested because it's broken out of this gray zone and broken all of these lows in here. Okay, so sellers are in control and even Friday's candle, similar to Swiss franc Japanese yen, you know, look at the wick on that. Yeah, that's telling us sellers are still in control and we can come lower. Um, and again, my target hasn't changed. If we drop down to the H1 now, we could, I'm going to put in a new gray zone here, all right? And this new gray zone is going to take into account these lows from this gray zone, but also that last high, all right? So this new gray zone is taking into account all of these lows, yeah? But also this high now, okay? So how can we trade this, guys? So a couple of ways, yeah? Price comes back up into this gray zone. Yeah, we get a bearish reaction. We can then start selling this pair. All right. Um, so that's the first idea. The second idea is to go with H1 structure. Yeah. And as you can see, similar to Swiss franc, Japanese yen, if we break these lows and therefore this gray zone, yeah, with a candle like this, yeah, or something like this, we're starting to see lower highs on the H1 and we're getting lower lows. All right, so this could potentially also be a way to short pound yen back down to this level. All right, guys, so yeah, um, those are the two trade ideas for today, guys. Swiss franc yen short, pound yen short. Um, and guys, yeah, uh, let's take a look at the news now. So news for Monday, the 25th of September, guys. Um the, these are, I know there's a two star ratings here. Nine o'clock, London GMT, we've got the Euro, 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 all two star ratings. But these combined can have an impact on the Euro. So you need to be aware of this if you're in any Euro pairs. But other than that, guys, Monday is a pretty free day of trading as there's no news. Do what you like. Um, and that's it, guys. Yeah. So if you've enjoyed the vid, please subscribe, like and share. Have a great trading day. And don't forget to join me for the live stream 8 a.m. New York EST time. See you then, guys. Have a great trading day.